You bastard! Pete! You don't see her! You don't talk to her! You stay away! I've only got one thing to say to you. You pathetic pieces of shit, you waste of time reptiles. I hate you with a force more biblical than the Bible. Look at me now. I am your judge, your jury, your nemesis, your nightmare, your worst flavour in a soft-centred chocolate bar. You filth, you scum, you stupid smuck fuck twat wipes! As you know, tomorrow, one of you will be fired. Your Honour, Mr Jennings is extremely sorry for the loss that he has caused Mr and Mrs Smith. Of course, with hindsight, he realises that he has behaved despicably. He cynically preyed on his victims with no thought for the dreams that he was dashing, the trust that he was betraying, the lives that he was destroying. Mr Jennings would say to this court that going to prison and being given three meals a day, a TV in his cell would do him no good at all. He would say that he deserves a real punishment, like community service, in which at least he might learn some humility and do something useful for the weak and the vulnerable. I'm sure your honour as a man of utmost fairness and integrity will give these pleas the full weight they deserve and do the right thing. Are these dead? Um, yeah. Rapunzel had splendid long hair. It was as fine as spun gold. And when she heard... <laughs> okay, Tiger, you're gonna be a good boy for mummy? Yeah? No, I'll see you in a few weeks, yeah? Yeah. Okay? Okay, come on. The board and feet. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Jen. Bye. Thanks, Pete. Yeah. Come on, come on, love. Hello, and welcome to Jazz Club, bringing you all that's best in the world of jazz. Nice. <laughs> On this week's show, an act that Wrong Note magazine described as the best of the young British jazz upstarts. Ha, great. The mind is a powerful tool, but we've not yet begun to tap into its awesome potential. By focusing my alpha waves, I've been able to develop my mind to a vastly higher level.
Well, Burke, that's the first down and 10 for the Braves. And Carl Burrows, the big quarterback, was totally shut down. He couldn't go forwards, backwards, or any which way. He was a man alone out there, Burke. He didn't have nobody to turn to. Well, if you look at the play again, Dick, I think you'll see there was somebody he could have turned to. And who was that, Burke? It was our Lord Jesus Christ. He died <laughs> on the cross for our sins, and is always there for us when we need him. Way to go, Burke. So put your hand, hand on, on the screen, screen and send all your money to us, the Reverend Dick Dixon, and me, Dr. Burke McCormack, Sportscasters, Sportscasters for Jesus. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name's Joe Beasley, and hey, this is Cheeky Monkey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, it's a great privilege to be here on the Alan Partridge Show, knowing me, knowing you, and I was thinking to myself in the dressing room, that's an Abba song, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? So here's a little joke, right? What do you get if you cross Fred Flintstone? Uh, no, not what if you cross. Uh, what do you, what do you get if you, um, what does a Swedish, what does a Swedish Fred Flintstone say? Yabba dabba do! No, he says, oh, abba dabba do! Abba dabba do, that's what he says. <laughs> um, so then, uh, hey, oh, other week, pack it in you. The other week, <laughs> stop it. The other week, me and Cheeky Monkey, we went to Blackpool Pleasure Beach, right? And at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I don't know if you know this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, but you've got the biggest roller coaster in the world. It's massive, isn't it? And we went up the big, up, up the big dipper. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, we went up the big dipper. And uh, we were on the Big Dipper, right? And we're going about 200 mi miles an hour. 200 miles an hour on, on, the, on the Big Dipper. And um, we go on the Big Dipper, right? And we come round the corner. And Cheeky Monkey, right? He... And, uh... we get, we're on the Big Dipper, right? No. That... Oh, you Cheeky Monkey. He's made me forget. <laughs> it's his fault, ladies and gentlemen. He's made me forget. He made... Oh, he... Oh! He's always doing that, ladies and gentlemen. Forget, forget, forget the joke there. Cheek, cheek, cheeky monkey. Cheeky, cheeky monkey. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Beasley cheek, and Cheeky cheek. Monkey. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Joe, I think you've been, I think you've been, uh, I think you've been very brave. There's more jokes, Alan. There's plenty more. It's, it's fine. Just, just a little mistake. Don't think it, I don't think it's working. Just a little mistake. <laughs> I should, should apologise to Cheeky Monkey. Look, he's upset. Look, it's not, not real. real. You've upset. Oh, look, he's upset him, ladies and gentlemen. It's not real. Don't touch it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've got a big problem. <laughs> if you've got any sense of dignity, this is well, your act is your act is really poor. You, 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 if you've got any sense of dignity, you'll leave the stage. I'll make sure you get a round of applause. Now, come on, quick while you're ahead. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Joe Beasley and Cheeky Monkey. Yeah.